This is a presentation for reinforcement learning. For our project, we chose to build an agent which could play chess proficiently. Chess is a domain which could only have agents beat the best humans in the 90s when Deep Blue beat Kasparov. This is a result of there being over 10 to the power of 40 possible moves. Thankfully, it's a very well studied domain and as such we have a lot of research to build off of. Conventional chess engines tend to use an algorithm called Minimax. Minimax is a recursive algorithm which searches through possible boards and attempts to find you both your best move and the, out the outcome which minimizes your opponent's best move. To try and optimize above Minimax, we move to an algorithm called Alpha Beta Pruning. Alpha beta pruning keeps track of two variables, alpha and beta, which represent the scores for both your best move and your opponent's best move. It subsequently attempts to prune the tree whilst searching so as to minimize the amount of searches without ignoring any of the best searches. We also implemented quiescent search, which looks one step further beyond the terminal nodes to try and make sure that we avoid the horizon effect where moves which may seem good could in the next turn suddenly be very costly. Naturally, if you're searching, you must actually be able to evaluate and score the boards. There are two methods for which you can do this. Center pawn, which assigns values based on material, although this ignores position, and an engine-based approach in which you use heuristics. We opted for the engine-based approach as by using Stockfish there are many advantages. Our model works by using our alpha beta search to go through all possible boards up to a set depth and also using an engine to simultaneously evaluate and provide estimates for the scoring this subsequently builds up a data set for each possible get game, which we subsequently feed into our neural network with the labelled estimated scores as training. With each game played, a data set is subsequently generated. These data sets can be absolutely huge. This is one of the contributions to why this network feels very slow when playing. These that these data sets can contain up to 10,000 boards and 10,000 evaluations. In order to fully train our network, we must play multiple games. During this, we can actually evaluate the loss and we can actually see that our network is performing very well. The network then continues to get better at making predictions and thus plays the game better. When we view our network actually playing a game, we can see that the network performs very well. When looking in the bottom right, you can see that the black, our agent, has played an incredibly strong game and is up in both economy, i.e. center pawns, and also when evaluated using an engine as its position is fantastic. However, the agent is very, very slow to move and does still make blunders. This is most noticeable when viewing both the early game and the end game as it does not go for the optimal openings nor does it manage very well when it starts to have fewer resources. However, it does consistently beat the random agent although I do worry about it eventually stalemating. One of the main issues with this engine is that it's incredibly slow. Games can quite easily take up to 30 minutes this is mostly as a result of the alpha beta search. This search produces a, an incredible amount of boards which need to be evaluated. This takes a large amount of time. Further, because there's no preset either open opening or ending, this en engine is very prone to blunders, particularly in the early game and in the late game. Often, also, this engine plays the game far too safe. Instead of playing very aggressively and attempting to quickly resolve the game by risking a bit of material, 
this engine tends to slowly build up. This can be quite infuriating as it could be viewed as a blunder on the engine's part. When evaluating how to improve the engine, the first thing that comes to mind is trying to improve the alpha beta search. The alpha beta search could be improved in a multitude of ways, one of which could be a transposition table which allows us to log existing moves to avoid re-evaluation. Another improvement would be move ordering, i.e. identifying orders of moves and subsequently attempting to re reuse the previous evaluation to avoid more re-evaluation and more searching unnecessarily. Another improvement could just be moving away from alpha beta search to using more in line with the alpha zero approach the Monte Carlo tree search algorithm, which has been shown to be a vastly superior algorithm. Irregardless, more training is required for performance to increase. Further, by attempting to optimise with a greater amount of heuristics and fixed opening positions, and perhaps with a more optimised engine for the end game, which could be a separate engine, this could see a massive increase in performance. Finally, also trying to produce testing instead of against a ra just a random agent, but also in challenging situations which are pre-designed to test the engine. Thank you for watching.